welcome back to Blindly Honestly, and if you are new, hi, hello, and welcome, and I hope you enjoyed today's video as well. So, before I get started, let me ask you guys to do me a huge favor. Please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already, and share this video with your friends so they can enjoy it as well. So, as you can see, I am all decked out in my Ravenclaw gear. I don't normally do beanies, but you know what? It's okay. We're gonna wear it today. I always feel like I look so weird in beanies. Anyways, so yes, today is the continuation of my Harry Potter house series, and we are doing Ravenclaw. But this video is also a collab with a fellow YouTuber who goes by the name of Danielle Schmidt Makeup. We actually found each other because we both happened to upload our Gryffindor videos around the same time. So after talking and discussing, we decided to do a collab and we decided to do a battle of the houses or a house battle as you will. She is going to be doing a Slytherin look and I'm going to be doing a Ravenclaw look. So make sure you guys check out her channel as well. I will leave a link for her channel down below in the description box so you can check out her video. And without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So since Ravenclaw colors are the, the dark blue and the, depending on if you're talking book or movie, tan or silver, um, the movie decided to go silver just because it was more pretty, I guess, I don't know. So I'm probably going to stick to the tan and the blue range. I may throw in a silver somewhere. I don't know yet. I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna throw in silver somewhere, maybe. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes. Okay, so first I'm not going to set my base on my eyes because I want this to be very, very big and bold. And I'm going to start with my James Charles palette. I'm going to pick up this kind of taupe, taupe, top. I've never learned how to say that, taupe tan color right here. This is Punch Me and I'm going to put this into my crease. I'm going to pick up E38 from Sigma and we're going to pat this into the crease and we're going to start darkening up the crease. And I am not putting a lot in the crease because I just want to get a color built in there to start with because this is going to get blended into another color. So now I'm going to jump into the Bright Light palette by Pinky Rose. And I'm going to pick up Brulee, which is kind of like a mustard color. And I'm going to pack this into the crease as well. So I'm going to use E45 by Sigma, which is a small tapered brush. And I'm going to pick up Brulee and just fill that right into the crease and up and you can go ahead and bring it over to the tail of your brow. That is fine, it's not gonna mess with anything. And we're just gonna keep building this up so that it is nice and pigmented. And this is going all the way from the inner corner to the outer where I said right by your brow. So I'm going to pick up this small E36 blending brush and I'm gonna jump back into the light taupe shade Punch Me. So I'm just blending this into brulee on the very top. I really, really like how thin this brush is because it really, really gets in there to blend very gently. So now I am taking E38 and I'm just gonna blend my crease a little bit more. So this is the part I'm kind of afraid to do because I'm gonna jump into the blue and we all know blue and I are not best friends. So I'm going to stick with the James Charles palette for this just because it's the blue I know and I have worked with and got to work. So I'm going to jump into Playground first and start building it up and then I'm also going to mix in Cola and Brother. So these three mainly. And I'm going to start with E36 first to start that blend. Starting first with Playground and we're just going to start blending that in. And then jumping into Cola to darken it up. 
then I'm going to take I'm going to take E45 and jump back into and jump into the rather and blend those two together. So I am taking Cola and Brother and mixing these two together. So now I am taking R35 and I'm going to pick up Playground and Brother and I'm going to mix these two together on the lid. I'm also going to go in with E45 and I'm going to pick up Cola and this is just going right on the outer V and darkening up the crease and down. And I'm just going to keep building this up until it's not quite as patchy. I'm going in with E38 in the shade Cola and just blending it in. So I was not gonna lie, I was a little worried at first with this look, but I'm thinking it's starting to come together. So I'm gonna jump back into Brother and Cola and I'm just darkening that crease and I'm also going to jump into a little bit of spooky. I'm still using that E45 and I'm just gonna blend this into the outer corner. So I am not too happy with how the blue and the yellow are blending together. And I am worried that if I were to blend brulee into it, it's gonna end up green. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to take the E36 brush and I'm not gonna put any product on it. I'm just gonna sit there and blend out the two colors a bit to see if that helps. Okay, so it's starting to blend together a little nicer now. I'm going to take E38 and just blend that a little bit more so that it looks a bit more smoked out. So now I'm jumping back into that brulee color, which is the mustard orange tan shade from the Bright Lights Pinky Rose palette. And I'm going to use the E38 brush and I'm just going to blend that back into the crease. So just because I don't know if you guys can see on the camera, but on this eye, there's like a little gap right here from where I put the blue. I'm going to take that small blending brush, the E38, and I'm just going to sit here and blend it out real quick. Because it is not wanting to blend out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump back into brulee that mustard orange color but i am also going to jump into brother and i'm going to use that to blend together okay so my camera died while i was blending this out but i kind of got the blue and the tan to blend together a little bit nicer than it was i am going to go ahead and take a fluffy brush and this is a tapered blending E35 from Sigma and I'm just gonna blend my brow bone area to kind of soften up a little bit okay so now I'm going to go ahead and do a partial cut crease just to about halfway through my eye and I got a new cut crease brush. I'm gonna try this out and see how it works. This is 
E62 and it is specifically named a cut crease brush and this is from a Sigma as well. So I'm going to keep building this up so that it is a nice white base because it has a bit of a blue tint and I don't want that. Okay, so while my concealer is still wet, I'm going to go ahead and jump into So Good, which is kind of like a gold tan shade. And I'm going to be using the same cut crease brush for this because it is nice and flat. And this is going right there on the lid. I really don't like that shade, like, at all. It's way too gold. So I'm going to jump into Ring Light, which is the silver shade in this palette, and I'm going to put that over it. And then go ahead and blend that right into where the blue is so this is the bom-18 brush by omnia it is a small detail brush and i'm going to jump into acapella which is the acapella which is the shimmery dark blue shade in this palette and what i'm going to do is just blend that right here where that silver and the blue meet And I did, I'm taking my finger and just lightly blending those two together just so it kind of does a little bit of a gradient. So now I'm going to take E25, which is a blending brush, and just to kind of help my color a little bit, I'm going to jump into Brulee again, and I'm going to blend it just right here. And what I'm doing is I'm blending it right into my inner corner and out into that blue. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and catch up this eye to this eye, and then I'll be right back. So I almost put on my blue NYX lipstick, and I changed my mind at the last minute. I'm really glad I didn't, because I didn't want to take away from my eyes. So instead, I have on Stone from Dose of Colors, and Mocha from Ofra. So yeah, um, I went ahead and did this eye, and I also kind of darkened up the outer corner of my eyelids as well. So now we're gonna go ahead and do under my eye. And for this, we are going to be using E21, which is a small smudger brush. And I'm going to pick up Cola Shade, which is the dark blue. And I'm just gonna gently smoke this out underneath my eyelids. I don't want it to be super, super bold, so. And just to buff it out, because I did get kind of messy, I'm going to take my beauty blender and just kind of smudge out underneath my eye a little bit more than what that brush did. Okay, so I went ahead and smudged that blue underneath my eyes, but I still feel like it's not quite enough. Like, it's pretty, it looks really nice, but I feel like I need a bit more under my eye. So, I'm going to take my step one for the money brush from the Vintage, and I'm going to dip into Spooky a little bit and blend that under my eye as well. That was exactly what this look needed. So, now I'm going to take this small inner corner shader, and this is E46. And just to give this look a little bit more of a pump, I'm going to dip into... I'm going to dip into Hello, which is a very pretty glittery neon blue. And I'm going to put a little bit of this in the inner corner. Like, not enough to change the look at all, but just enough to really, really kind of pop that inner corner. Ooh, that looks pretty. So we need to blend that in a little bit. So we're gonna take the really, really small shader brush, E36. And we're just gonna blend that up a bit. Okay. 
So this is the finished look. I am in love with how this looks. Oh my god. Like I was worried if I should like the tan and the yellow shade, but I think it worked. I think it looked really, really pretty together. I am obsessed. Mm. And if you are wondering, yes, I have weird little plugs in my ears because I am stretching my ear holes a bit more. That always sounds weird, but I'm, I'm stretching my ear holes <laughs> from a 10 gauge to an 8 gauge. So I have these in my ear to just stretch the hole a bit more. So if you're curious why it looks like I have antennas coming out my ears, that's why. <laughs> So let me know down below your guys' thoughts and opinions on this look. What would you change? What did you think? Make sure you go and check out Danielle Schmidt's page. I will have her link down below in the description box. And again, Danielle, thank you so much for collabing with me. I cannot wait to see your Slytherin look. So if you guys like the video, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to join the hashtag Butterfly Squad, make sure you ring my bell because that way you'll be notified every time I open new videos. And I wish you guys lots of love and whiskers, and I will see you in the next one. Love you. Bye. Thinking it's time